you got the Auburn Tigers coming off a two and six last season and uh, a loss against Clemson, the loss at home against Texas A&M, in which the Tigers were like a three and a half point favorite. I still am scratching my head over that one because Texas A&M went in there and did what we all expected the Aggies to accomplish, and that's completely shut down Auburn's offense. Although you mentioned they rushed the football but couldn't cash it in, moved it between the 20s, and uh, LSU goes in there, a team that uh, blasted Mississippi State out of the gate and then hung on for dear life uh, at home against what's most likely the worst team in the division. Not a bad team, but the worst team in the division with Mississippi State. So, Mike, we've got LSU going to Auburn, as we discussed before we we came on tonight, a, a possible uh, survival game for a couple of head coaches in Gus Malzahn and in Les Miles. Yeah, yeah, I think I think this is a game where two coaches where they both uh, desperately needed a win. Uh, Les Miles coming off the opening, you know, last year with the drama last year, and then the opening loss to Wisconsin. There's already people talking about uh, the transition in LSU, getting that in place and getting that ready. It, it almost seems like a foregone conclusion to me that this might be the last year that Miles is in Baton Rouge. It, it might even be a a, a uh, an amicable split uh, between those two parties. Malzahn, I think, uh, is a little bit different story. Uh, you know, he definitely needs this after a one and two start. Bad conference play last year. You mentioned it going two and six. Uh, they already have a conference loss this year. They still haven't played Alabama. Uh, you know, this is a game that Auburn really needs. I thought Auburn's defense was very impressive against Clemson. Uh, their offense seems like it's getting into rhythm. I, you know, Gus Malzahn's obviously a much better football coach than I am. I just don't understand why he continues to to change quarterbacks mid series uh, like he's done. Uh, but but we'll see how that works. Maybe it works. Uh, I just think that Auburn wants it a little bit more. Uh, I think uh, going back to my last uh, discussion with Ole Miss, I think the Auburn players are playing with a little bit of chip on their shoulder. Uh, LSU just doesn't seem like they're uh, they, they just doesn't doesn't seem like they're bringing their A game every week. Maybe with the insertion of Danny Etling, maybe with a full week of first team reps, uh, maybe they'll look better. But you know you haven't seen Fournette be as dominant as he was last year. That defense hasn't really exerted. Uh, its influence. The, the defense had two great series against Wisconsin, and those are really the only two great series we've seen. In, in the past, uh, we've seen an LSU defense completely control a game. Go back to that opening weekend game against Oregon several years ago. They came out in the second half, and they won the game by themselves, that LSU defense. We just haven't seen that this year. Uh, I was I was high on LSU going into the season. They've they've really disappointed. So I'm going to have to go with Auburn uh, just because I think they're going to want it more. Uh, quite frankly. Yeah, and we mentioned these coaches, and I posted a poll this morning, uh, SEC breakdown. So we got 96 votes so far. Which coach needs to win more in the Battle of the Tigers? So it's Gus Malzahn, Les Miles. 96 votes. It is split exactly. 50. <laughs> 50. <laughs> so I think that even speaks to where you know, a lot of these fans of both of these teams, you know, are, are don't really know uh, what to think of their coaches. The SEC fans don't really know what to think of these coaches of who needs this game more. Uh, so I thought I found that pretty interesting right now. So uh, right now for LSU, and I think the defense is working. Uh, Dave Aran has come in and that defense has uh, shown up uh, so far, you know, even in the loss against Wisconsin, you know, it was a still a good showing by the, by the defense. Uh, so you know, I don't. It was definitely not on them while they lose that game. Um, we, they were, Mississippi State only had 56 yards on 32 carries last week, uh, three yards per carry. Uh, but you know, this game I think is really about Leonard Fournette again. I think we all remember the game last year where you know, Auburn guys were, you know, he was looking like Superman out there. They were just coming up and he could just thump them off of him. It looked like. Uh, so it'd be you know it'd be his job I think you know t to get the job done uh, for the LSU for LSU LSU's defense though. I'll go back to them only allowed 24% of uh, third down to be converted on them. So, uh, you know, I, I kind of question if this Auburn offense can keep drives alive and keep converting third downs on this LSU defense. I, I don't really see that going. Our, uh, Auburn did get their running game going, uh, 462 yards against Arkansas State, and um, was uh, pretty good against a and like I mentioned, 236 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's not enough. Uh, that passing game is nowhere near where it needs to be. Uh, right now for, for Auburn to, you know, take that next step. And, I mean, what is Gus Malzahn doing? I, I just don't understand the rotation of the quarterbacks. There's not right now, you know, Sean White is not as effective as I thought he would be. I thought the offense would be tailored more around him. Uh, but I don't think Auburn just has that talent for Gus to run the offense effectively, whether it's the pass-happy 
Gus offense that we knew back in the day or the run heavy offense that he's been known for for Auburn. There's, he doesn't have talent for either one of them right now. So I think it's going to be more on the Auburn defense. Can they, you know, can they keep him in the game like they did against Clemson and A&M to a point? You know, can they step up from the embarrassment that they had against LSU last year? Uh, but I think this is the game where Danny Etling comes down to earth a little bit. Uh, you know, there's some tape on him now. Uh, but it will be Leonard Fournette, I think, who will be the difference. I don't think it will be the LSU passing game uh, taking off uh, miraculously. Uh, so, you know, it's, I do think uh, Leonard Fournette will be the difference and, and LSU gets the job done. A month ago, I thought LSU was decidedly the better team. Uh, but after struggling against Wisconsin and Mississippi State, and I was really surprised with coming out as fast as they did at 14 to nothing, that they barely hung on for the victory at home against a Mississippi State team that that credit the defense because we've talked about Mississippi State's defense and there are question marks along the defensive front. Leonard Fournette did not, he, he had a, a statistically a strong game at 28 carries for 147, but he really had to be a grinder in this game. These were not easy yards that he gained against Mississippi State. Now he goes up against an Auburn defensive front that's probably one of the top five in college football. Auburn's defense, I think, with the experience that they have, if LSU has to rely on Danny Etling to win this game, I never thought a few weeks ago that I would be considering who's going to win an LSU-Auburn matchup because I thought LSU was a much better team. I still think that they'll win on the Plains, but Auburn being at home in this game with as good a defense as that they have, to both of your points, that if Gus Malzahn would go into this week and establish Sean White as the starting quarterback, and he's the guy, and we need to build an identity on offense, even if it's not what I really like to coach or like to do, but this is going to be the identity for the rest of the year. It's going to be, we're going to rely on a running game that actually posted almost 250 yards against Texas A&M, and we're going to, we're going to throw from the pocket. We're going to utilize some, um, wideouts who don't have much experience. I'm thinking of uh, Davis in particular, but he's showing some flashes uh, as a freshman. And this is going to be our formula, and we're not going to win the SEC, but we're, we're going to challenge some teams. I, I think that would be a formula to win a team against a team like an LSU that's probably, despite all their talent, not going to run away from you because they're just not going to light it up in the passing attack uh, to run away from a team like Auburn, uh, especially the game being played on the plane. So it should be an interesting one. And if LSU loses this one, boy, you're, you're really going to hear the cat calls.